Hi, I'm Clarence from St. Paul, Minnesota, and you are watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Peace. I have read your comments and I have heard your cries. You have said, more diesel or you're out. I'm going to call you out specifically because I laughed at the comment and I said, you know what? He's absolutely right. Who was it? Who was it? Dean Tate, more diesel or I'm out. And he said a smiley face. <laughs> Done. Diesel. Whoa, almost dropped the camera. I'm so excited. Diesel. What can I say, man? People just love me. Look at me. They are so good looking. Look at me. Can you blame them? I mean, look at all those people over there. They're looking at me too. Because I'm good looking. I'm a good weasel, man. Who's over there? Yeah, that guy obviously went to sleep. <laughs> right in front of the pumps. Literally, right in front of the He's just sleeping there. So he got here late at night. The parking lot was full, obviously. So he decided just to pull the brakes right there. And that's where he's sleeping. Everyone's been honking at him as they go past him. <laughs> he's blocking half the pumps. And he won't wake up and move. I don't know if he can even move because it's e-log. I mean, usually you can move a little bit, like very, very slowly. But I don't know what he's doing over there. But hey, it's another new day. We're here near ne uh, Nexington? Lexington. Lexington, Kentucky, and we're heading up to Ontario. We're gonna be there late tonight, and we're gonna deliver tomorrow, and then I may have to do a reset up there before I continue, but they'll probably have another load for me going down south and then maybe home. But we'll figure that out later. For now, let's get going. Why not? Let's feed the weasel first. He's hungry. Cincinnati, what are you doing to me? What are all these orange things on the road? What is that? What is that garbage on your highways? All those cones there, it's disgusting. Clean up your room. <laughs> yeah, we had a lane uh, close on us there and it just messed up traffic for the longest time. We're finally moving because I guess we're past that. It's been a good day so far though. We've only driven about, uh, what, are we, what are we looking at here? 95 kilometers, so we've driven about 60 miles. We have another 550 to go. Woo, you excited diesel? I love driving. I love driving. I'm so glad that there is a profession out there that involves doing what I love to do most, driving. I just I just love the driving part. I don't know what's going on here. So we're going around, we're going into Cincinnati here right now, right on the way north on I-71 here. So we gotta go down the hill, around the corner, and then we go underneath that bi-level bridge, right? Suddenly I want a Coca-Cola. That's weird. But it seems that traffic is having a hard time getting through here. So I have a sneaky suspicion that there's another lane closed up ahead. That sign over there says, stop and go traffic next four miles. You don't say, I, I didn't even notice. I'm glad they warned me though, all the way over here and not five miles back where it started. That, uh, I'm glad they put that sign right there. Let's people know, next four miles, stop and go. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today. It's been a really good day. Uh, looking forward to going home again though, but hey, I look forward to going home every day. First day I leave, I look forward to going home. But you can't do everything at the same time. I also love driving this truck and I also need to uh, pay bills. So you gotta try and balance. Being a truck driver, your work home life balance is always a little off. You're always at work way more than you are at home and it's 
it's something that you got to have a, a strong marriage for you got to have a wife that understands it or a husband if you're out on the road and uh, I'm lucky to have the wife I have she, she grew up with a dad who was a truck driver so she gets it and uh, we make it work you know it's the it's 2020 with all the technologies we have out there we video chat multiple times a day it's not like we don't talk to each other we talk all day if we're not video chatting we're messaging each other uh, she's at work right now so the phone is quiet but that's my chance to talk to you guys right always someone to talk to and it's sort of exciting at the same time sharing what I see with the internet that's something that people didn't have just like a, couple, like a decade ago or two decades ago it's something that it's pretty neat because I get carried away in my video sometimes and you know making a video every single day sometimes you lose track of what you actually created the channel for and you get off in all these different topics it's very easy to get sucked into all the main topics going around the world today but you know you hear about that enough in the news already I'd like to give you a, a relief from all of that but sometimes I'm not the best at that because I get sucked into it also you know I listen to the news too with a skeptical ear but I listen to it and you know sometimes it sucks me and sometimes it gets me mad and then I'm, I'm just like anyone else you know the news is designed to make you mad so I guess they achieve their goal sometimes with me but yeah I, I just want to share my life with you out here uh, at here and on the road uh, I mean pardon me on the road here and at home we always have plans for uh, stuff to do at home you know we've been doing a lot of work on the house and property uh, making it all nice you know it's nice to it's nice to live you know life is a gift you gotta make the most of it you only get one shot or so they tell us I mean if they really had something you could like uh, inject into yourself to stop the aging process. We're gonna go on this conspiracy tinfoil hat. Okay, get out your hats, everybody. Would they really tell us if they had a way to stop the aging process to make you live, like, let's say, like, two, three hundred years or longer? They wouldn't tell us that. The Earth is already overpopulated. They'd keep it to themselves. There's your conspiracy for the day. My head is full of them, don't worry. I'm no Alex Jones, but... I like a good conspiracy. Turns out it was an accident. They had a lane block for accident and another lane block for construction. So here now we're getting to that Cincinnati Bridge. You know, I've just realized that the Kentucky side of Cincinnati is called Covington. I've gone through here like probably hundreds of times in the last decade. I never knew that. Covington, Kentucky. And we'll cross this bridge and we'll be in Cincinnati, Ohio. We want to be in this lane, right? Yeah. Look at this. Diesel, look, we're driving on the water. Over the water. We're flying, man. Look at this. Slogan is find it here. This road for six kilometers. We don't know what it is, but it's here in Ohio. Somewhere. Find it. It's like where's Waldo? Except you don't know who or what Waldo is, but it's here. Find it here. This guy's in a hurry, he's tired of waiting. Bridge to Canada, this way. So we're about to go over, uh, I believe what? It's Blue Water Bridge from Port Huron into Sarnia, right? Blue Water Bridge. Been crossing here more often than I have in the past, eh? When I was on flatbed for those few years, we hardly ever came out here. I missed this area. 
across into Ontario, we'll switch ourselves onto Canadian hours of service because I only have 33 minutes on my 70 hours in the United States. So we're cutting it pretty close. And once I get into Canada, I'll have about, I think 15 or 10 or 15 hours available because it's, it's a different system. So I'll be okay once I get there, but I'll have to reset before I come back to the United States. So we'll go up there, we'll deliver, we'll reload, and then we'll go and sit, probably till Sunday, and then it's a one day drive to, uh, I think my next load is going to Rockland, Illinois. And I only gotta be there for Monday. And today is Wednesday, so tomorrow's Thursday. We got lots of time, lots of time to reset. Let's pay for our bridge. Look at this, there's a bit of a line up here. What in the world? What in the hunt? What's this? Why is the lineup all the way back here? This is just the toll to get on the bridge. Oh, okay, yeah, it's moving. I thought they might have closed it or something. Maybe they were changing attendance or something. And that's when they uh, they usually close it while they do that. Maybe it built up a little bit of a lineup. I don't know. I don't know. They got at least two lanes open here. Which one I go? What does that say? Prepaid, credit cards, own cars only. I think I can go here, yes. Okay, yeah, they're not accepting cash anymore because of the, because of the sickness. So you gotta pay with credit card unless you have a prepaid pass. Maybe I should have gone in that lane. I thought this lane would be quicker. Just about our turn here. I believe it's about 16 bucks or something. 18 bucks Canadian. What does it say here? Trucks. 325 US per axle or 425 Canadian per axle. Hello. cents US and I have 29 minutes to get across the bridge <laughs> I didn't think we'd be cutting it this close but here we are living the dream I wish they had easy pass here that would make things a lot simpler is so quiet because there's only trucks going across the border right very few cars this bridge used to be just packed end to end with cars especially in the summertime and on the long weekends now it's just a ghost town I can't wait till this is all over I can't wait till November is over just, it's gonna be so nice to go back to some normalcy a little bit. But who knows? I guess it depends what happens in November. Might get better, might get worse. You never know. Here we are. Fitting that they have blue lights on the sides of the blue water bridge. Slide right on. Lake move on circle to No 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 no. First we gotta talk to the good border people there, Karen. I know you don't want to talk to them. Don't argue with them, okay? Don't embarrass me. Are we in Canada yet? Crossing border, entering Ontario. There it is. The sign here says, Welcome to meters. Canada. Slide right on. Lake move on circle to Highway 402 and then turn left and do 100 meters. Bienvenue au Canada. For the Quebecers. Wandering outside their borders. 